So today I'm going to show you how to write a number as a product of its prime factors. So firstly, what is a prime number? A prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself and 1. So for example, if we had the number 2, we can only divide it by 2 and 1. If we had the number 5, we can only divide that by 5 and 1. If we had the number 13, we can also only divide that by 13 and 1. So, these sort of numbers are called prime numbers. So, to write a number as a product of its prime factors, we need to draw something called a factor tree. This here is not a factor tree, but we will draw something similar to it. So, if we were to write the number 120 as a product of its prime factors, we need to draw a factor tree. So we start with putting 120 over here. We then need to split 120 into two numbers that can multiply together to make 120. So we can use 10 and 12. We then split each one of these into two numbers that can multiply to make those as well. So we can have 6 and 2 here and 5 and 2 here. Now, 5 is a prime number, so we have to circle it. 2 is also a prime number, so we have to circle it. This 2 is also a prime number, so we have to circle that too. The 6 can be broken down further into a 3 and a 2. And then we circle both of those as well. So now, as you see, we have our prime numbers all circled. Now, to write 120 as a product of these prime factors, we would write 2 times 2 times 2 because we have a 2 here, a 2 here, and a 2 here. We then have to times it by 3 because we have a 3 here. And then finally, we have to times it by 5 because we have the 5 here. Now, 2 times 2 is the same as 2 squared. And 2 times 2 times 2 is the same as 2 cubed. So we can simplify this and write 2 cubed times 3 times 5. And that there is how you write 120 as a product of its prime factors. So here's a practice question for you to try. So try writing 140 as a product of its prime factors. I will then release an answer in the next video, which will be called How to Write a Number as a Product of its Prime Factors. Practice question and answer. Thanks for watching.